Retro Rob plays everything. Hey there, real gamers. Retro Rob here, and today have I got a treat for you. I got something weird here. This is the True Blue Crackhead Pack, which is either some kind of revolutionary vape or tampon or something. I don't know. But what it purports to do is for $20, this is 20 bucks on Amazon, you can plug it right in to your PlayStation Classic and give it 101 games. Look at that, 101. That's pretty crazy. It's supposed to be just plug it in. I repeat that one more time. You're supposed to just plug it in. That's it. So uh, we're gonna try it out, but of course, I need to show you the front of the box. Yet again, I have no idea what they're selling. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird looking, huh? Anyway, crackhead pack, 64 gigs. Includes 101 games for 20 bucks. I'm expecting quality here. The right side of the box is slightly crushed. You, you, you. The left side of the box looks a lot like the right, except not crushed. There's the top of the box. Warning, turn off PS Classic and remove power cable before inserting or removing the True Blue Mini USB device. It's the remove power cable that kind of worries me. Press triangle plus select to return to the menu while playing a game. True Blue Mini, over 100 of your favorite classic PlayStation 1, it's 101. <sighs> your favorite PlayStation 1 games exclusive to this pack. Okay. Hours of retro fun with your friends from the glory days of the PS1. Simply plug and play. No installation or soldering required. Includes USB mini hub to allow both controllers simultaneously. If you want some more information and a full list of games, go to www.truebluemini.com. And here we are at True Blue Mini's website. And, uh... Oh yeah, here's a game list. There's a game list. So I've got... They've got the crackhead pack, the weed pack, and the overdose pack. <sighs> All right, fine. So I've got the meth pack. Probably based on what I'm seeing here. Eh, still, you know, there's quite a bit of games on here. I probably would have liked. Uh, I probably should have looked these up beforehand. I don't like the first one much better. All right. Good enough. At least the website still exists. That's a plus. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Could be a pregnancy test, too. It's another thing the true blue mini could be. All right. Okay, I'm going to give them a A- minus for packaging. This is actually pretty decent packaging. We got your standard USB drive. You know, I recognize this one. I ordered these for my work once because we wanted some departmentally branded <laughs> USB drives. And they look just like this and felt just like this kind of, yeah. They don't feel like super durable, just so you know. Number two, we've got the USB it's got four ports on it. And you know what? It really doesn't feel that bad. I mean, it wouldn't be mistaken for a super high quality product, but it's really it's really not bad. All right, so now I guess I've got to go find where I put my PlayStation Classic. It's not down there. I'm pretty sure it's like way at, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, I'm going to have to get up there. Got a stretch. <sighs> yeah, got it. All right. All right, so basically, I'm guessing you plug the first controller in here, plug in this unit. Plug this guy into the back or the top, wherever you want. Hook the whole thing up and your second controller can go right here. The, 
The last port's at a little bit of an angle. I think it's designed that way, but uh, I'm gonna just put this in port four instead. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. Well, that just worked. I'll be darned. Yeah, way easier than one would have thought. Let's do Wipeout Excel real quick, just to make sure they run it all. PlayStation here. Red Bull gives you wings. Must not have been their uh, slogan back then. I kind of like that this game was uh, <laughs> was advertising Red Bull. I think that's kind of neat. Improve reaction time with Red Bull. Remember when it was like really kind of neat to see ads in video games? And now it's just kind of blah. Yeah. Red Bull. Oops. Oh, cannot believe that. Extended time. This is boost, right? I really love the early Wipeout games. Um, later on, it really, it basically became Mario Kart. I know I'm gonna get some hate for that, but it did. It became all about the pickups, where the early Wipeouts really have an emphasis on racing and it changed over time it's kind of too bad Oops. neat boost come on Very nice. Alright, let's try a couple more games, see how they work. Alright, now we're taking a look at Medieval, which is one of those games that I picked up like right when it came out. And let's see how this plays. I'm going to assume it plays fine. Me, however, not so good. It has risen again. Oh, it talks. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallop. Alright, enough of that. Let it alone. Fate has given it us. There I am with. I love the uh, look of this character. Alright, there's my sword. Yep, yep. Jump, slash. Little good old beat em up action. Come here. Come here. Found copper shield, so now I got a shield. Nice. Oh, the camera. The camera is so much worse than I remember it. <laughs> it is so much worse. Change. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. And hopefully... Yep, I'll be able to find the exit. I was so excited when I got this game, I could not wait to play it. Oh, the memories. I 
Enter level. Wait, no, no. Here we go. Enter level. We'll just look at the graveyard for a minute here. And then move on. Dun, thrun, thrun, dun. Oh no! How'd I switch? Am I still throwing them? Yeah, why? I don't know. It moves so much slower than I remember it. <laughs> there we go. Back to my sword. It was select. Select was the button I was looking for. As in, select which weapon you would like to use. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? They look very stiff. What's this? Heels. Chaos Rune required. What is up with this camera? Come on. We'll just pick up that Chaos Rune and... Make our way out before I end it. Seems to play fine. Out of curiosity, I wonder if these are the uh, PAL versions or uh, NTSC versions of these. Usually, before I start recording, I get a little uh, I get a little alert about what the format is, but I didn't this time, so that's kind of weird. Oh, I know why. It's because it's HDMI. So, yeah. Bummer. Alright, let's try one more game. One more thing I think you ought to know. If I hit select and the triangle, it will bring me back to the main menu. And I do have the save and resume points. So you don't lose that feature. And here we have Einhander, which is kind of a hard game to get your hands on. So it's nice to see it in this collection. Vulcan. Now there's going to be some death. I've always thought that this game, just due to the scale, uh, was a little bit harder than it generally should be. Just because you're pretty big and the enemies are pretty big. Just saying. But, it is nice to see it. A little bit of a skip there. <laughs> nice. It's all the touches that make it great. Don't lose it. I love that you can just change the direction of this. Wait. Ah! Want it backwards there. Now if they come behind me, they're going to be in trouble. I don't need to keep picking up picking up stuff. Oh wait. Ah I died. Bummer. No fighters left. This is it. Lost all my guns. There we go. 
Okay, now we got a boss. Or a mid-level boss. Isn't that what they call mid-level? Come on, you. Ah! That's it. Einhander. Hey, let's do one more. Just one more. My first experience with Siphon Filter was on the PSP, so this is a bit of a shocker to me. I think it looked a little better on the PSP, but... Am I supposed to kill these guys? I guess not. Am I supporting them? Oh my! Is he supposed to... Not quite as good <laughs> as it is on the PSP, I don't think. It feels a little sluggish. Are these good guys? Oh, oh, oh no! I, I killed my own agent. Oops. Castlevania Bloodlines. Great game. Oh, the heck. <laughs> Timing up. Oh. As expected, died. There we go. He's down. And there we go. Some memories. All right, let's end this and get a verdict. So what's the verdict on the Crackhead pack? Well, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, which is it's super easy to crack the PlayStation Classic. So you could do this yourself. You can get your own USB drive and put your own stuff on. However, the cost of a 64 gig USB drive plus uh, the USB multi-port adapter or USB hub, uh, it's probably about 15 bucks anyway. So for an extra five bucks, you're getting all the games pre-installed. And I think that given the time to source all the ISOs for this, it's probably worth that. Uh, however, you know, you're going to have to question yourself on the morality of doing so. If you're fine with that, I think you'll be fine with this. I mean, the quality is okay not great but okay and it works right out of the box as advertised so thumbs up i've got a uh, link to it down below on amazon so you can pick it up if you'd like uh, i put the other versions in there as well i want to thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more i'll see you in a couple days bye